What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Midwest Geek Channel. I'm so glad you're here and if this is your first time, welcome. You are welcome here and we're going to react to Shane Gillis's Why White People Like Country Music. I'm going to get the George Washington once I figure out all of the, uh, the, the issues with the copyright. I'm going to try to figure that out and uh, because that was a very uh, popular uh, comment in the comment section of the last video that I made, which was the ex dating the Navy SEAL. So if you have not checked that out, check that out in the channel. I'll have a link to it or a card to it up above. And uh, guys, I hope you guys really enjoy this. Uh, just a tidbit about the channel. I'm moving my gaming videos over to Rumble, the Midwest Geek channel over on Rumble. I'll have a description link in the description and uh, maybe on the screen here. So if you're a gamer, uh, definitely check out the channel over on Rumble at the Midwest Geek channel. Uh, give me a follow. That'd be much appreciated. Come say hi in the live chat. That'd be, uh, let's have a great time. But for right now, we're going to focus on reaction stuff on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see. It can be non Shane Gillis related. Give me a like. I would much appreciate that. And of course, subscribe for more content upcoming. Guys, I love you. And let's get going with Shane Gillis. Why white people like country music. I don't know. I just moved to New York this year. And uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would, but uh, I just just found out I was fat. Okay. Just th I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. I I'm from a white trash fat, enough town that right. this was killing it. <laughs> People back home see me. They're like, "What's your fucking secret?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm just hanging out, just man." Hanging out. <laughs> It's mostly hanging out. I completely out. understand. Got the dad bod going right here, buddy. And then, I don't know, right I moved, here. Uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then, uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. Mm. <laughs> 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 you, you pussies. Uh, Whoa. No, but it was funny because like that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke, mm. and that was like because if like if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage, and sit down, and you'd be like, "That's a fucking good outfit." <laughs> what are you, are you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. You're going full camo at Clusterfest. All right. <laughs> uh, and the funny thing about that is, I live in that kind of town, like. It is uh, camo galore here. Uh, we have a town. We live in a town, probably around four to six thousand people. It is like you know, high class ba basketball game going on. We got guys in full camo like everywhere, and we're just like some good looking camo. <laughs> I know, because you got rough camo, you got your, uh, you got your like outdoor camo, you got your hunting get camo, then you got your nice camo, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and you got the, you know, the camo jackets. It's, uh, yeah, we 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 love our camo around here. I don't wear it personally, but uh, I, we we do love our camo around here. So <laughs> I completely understand everything you say right here. Like, everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like, I understand why white people like it. You know? Like, you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. Not, I don't know if you know this. Every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. It's like, I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. I get it. You can relate to it. I ride around. I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. I can't relate to one fucking song. I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like, I beat the pussy up. It's like, oh, <laughs> I, I, like I don't know if I beat it up. Like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never, I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussy. He's, I've never knocked it out. Not, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with a pussy. Very technical. <laughs> very defensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's very, he is 
is so freaking funny, man. He is so freaking funny, man. It, it's just, <laughs> he's so quick. He's so quick with it. But he's so right, though. He, he throws a lot of truths in these jokes because I don't listen. I got to be in a crazy mood to be, I have to be in a like super, super good mood to listen to country music. I don't listen to it very often, but uh, when I'm in a like a, it depends on the season. Like if it's like super like nice out, I might uh, and I have the windows down. I'm like, I might as well just do it. You know, uh, I'll play a country song or something. I'll be in a country mood. But it's he's so right. He's he's spot on. Like all these country songs, all these country hits are like so so simple. But you can relate to it. Like I'm. I am a 90s country fan, so I like Brooks and Dunn, Alan Jackson, uh, Clinton Black, I like George Strait, I like all these guys uh, that I grew up with, Tim McGraw, all these guys that I grew up in the 90s, got these 90s hits, uh, it, man, they're so, they're so simple, like the first one that comes into my brain is Hard Working Man, I'm a hard working man. I wear a steel hard hat. I can ride and rope, hammer and paint. And it's just so simple. So he's absolutely correct. And a lot of those songs are just like that. Where it's just, you can you can just easily relate to it. You don't really have to like fully be in, into the song. And you know what they're talking about. So I completely get it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, he's spot on. Spot on can't relate to rap either i can't beat the pussy up either i mean i try anyway, sorry anyway that's all i listen to i just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex i don't think i've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick <laughs> <laughs> except like when i lay on them at first and they're like oh, oh no <laughs> no that's it just oh jesus mister <laughs> <laughs> the belly to belly <laughs> belly to belly missionary like the last video that's yeah. funny good so that's where I'm from <laughs> and then I moved to the city and here let me lose you again real quick oh, uh, no. oh, it was right no. during the presidential election and uh, it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said woke and they were all like <laughs> They're all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody Still here vote? Over the, oh, Jesus, mister. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys remember how like confident you guys were? When was this made? Going into that last one. How long ago was this stand up? Uh, you remember that? Like, a little borderline arrogant going into that. <laughs> all right. Don't let it cost you again. <laughs> no, I relax. Relax. I did not vote for him. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. I wonder who he voted for. His whole for campaign this was at me. I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. Oh, no. <laughs> and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. Nope. Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, okay. So I have, I have a horrible, horrible story about skull. So when I was a kid, I, I grew up, uh, I grew up, like I said, in a very country town. I still live in the country town and so me and my dad would often uh, ride in his truck and we would go fishing. My dad was a hardcore dipper and you can see where this is going. So me being a kid about eight years old, I don't know, eight to 10 years old. And so we're driving to the lake and I got thirsty, went for the can, went to go drink my soda, found out it's not soda, but it's his spit, his skull spit can. And I could just feel the, the spit and the skull. Go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
it, it still makes me sick. It still makes me sick to even like think about what that texture was. It's making my mouth water. It was the nastiest thing I've ever tasted in my life. I threw up like crazy. Uh, and ever since then, never tried Skull in my life. Uh, I will smoke a cigarette. I'll smoke, I'm sorry. I'll smoke a cigar all day, any day of the week. But Skull, no thank you. That's my nasty Skull story. It'll leave me com leave a comment down below if you got a nasty school story or uh, if you guys are dippers. Um, I am not. <sighs> I don't know. You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. Yeah. It's nice. You get some outside perspective. Some advice. You just gotta be careful with the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to like sex. Yeah. When you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't <laughs> translate. <laughs> like this is the advice my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, hey, yo, Shane, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. She's always gonna want the dick. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what? He's like, you're, you're worried about depth? <laughs> like depth is a, I didn't even know they had depth. I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about like depth is an issue? <laughs> what is He's happening? Like, you don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, that's all I have. That's all. What are you talking about? I've never been like halfway in and been like, oh, oh. <laughs> you got to earn the rest of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, not me either. It's insane. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about like the noises I'm making. Like I just, I just Guys, sound like, like a shitty ghost the whole time. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> I'm almost done. Oh, <laughs> Death. Oh, no. Or my face? You ever worry about it's your true, face though. when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't, don't think about how dumb you look. No. You'll end up looking like a fucking psycho trying to look handsome the whole just. It's not good. It's worse for me if I let it go. Like, if I just let my face go during sex. Like, I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer, the whole just... No! Oh, no! The girl's down there, she's like, did you do it? I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. No! Oh, he's almost done. Might as well just yeah. finish it. Oh, okay, he's done. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Oh... Oh, that, that, that got me. That was hilarious. Man, I need a haircut. Oh, guys, I don't even want to know about the faces that I make. <laughs> now he's making me very self-conscious about that. Oh my gosh. He is so freaking funny and his delivery is just impeccable. And you can just, it's almost like you can just relate to all of his jokes and you believe it, man. It's He's so, he's so good at what he does. I want to see him live so freaking bad now. If you guys have seen him live, let me know uh, what your experience was and if it's worth going to see. Guys, I hope you enjoy this. Why white people enjoy country music? Leave a comment down below what you guys want me to see for the first time. Uh, maybe I've seen it, maybe I have not. And, uh... Be sure and smash that like button down below and subscribe for more content up to come. Uh, reaction content here on YouTube, gaming over on you on uh, Rumble. And uh, guys, I just want to bring joy to your lives. That's all I want. That's all I want. You got YouTube has brought joy to my life, uh, all these content creators, and that's what I want to do for uh, all you people uh, who are just kind of trying to dist distract. From life and uh, release things from your brain uh, so I totally get it and uh, yeah I hope you guys are having a beautiful beautiful day and I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend and uh, follow me on X Mid deal Midwest geek and I love you guys and I will see you on the next video very soon peace